Hi there! In today's video, we are going to learn how we can add slider functions to our 2014 uh, theme of WordPress 3.8. So this is the site that uh, will be the result of our video today. So if I'm going to reload the page and I have slider over here and the slider itself, it's auto sliding. So I don't have to click the two arrow button to navigate the image because it will play automatically every seven seconds. And I also add the functionality to pause the uh, slider, which I can do by hovering uh, the image and the auto sliding function will be paused um, until I move my mouse somewhere else. So if I move, I move my mouse here, you will see that the sliding will start to play automatically again after five, uh, seven seconds. So this is the block that we will uh, work with. You see that this has a uh, featured content uh, magazine style, which is tiled on the home page. And if you haven't um, have it something like this, you can check my other tutorial how to show uh, featured content with a featured image in your home page in 2014 theme. And note that I also use a 2014 child theme for this tutorial, so you can also check my other tutorial for it. So let's get started. First step is you go to your dashboard. And here on the dashboard, you go to Appearance and then Customize. Click on that and here on the left side, you can see there is a featured content uh, drop down menu. If I click on the arrow button, I can see that this featured content has default layout as grid. And if you click on this, you can also have slider functions. So the first step is of course choosing slider as the layout and hit save and publish and close the customizer. And now if I reload this page that you will see this is the slider. And the default slider that is provided by 2014 uh, theme function is that this slider is static. So you have to click on the arrow button to move this image from one post to another uh, featured post image and it will move back and forth. So if you are happy with this, uh, you can stop right here, but if you want to add uh, auto sliding functions, then follow me along. So uh, let's get uh, started with adding um, auto sliding here. So the first step is we're going to add um, JavaScript file. So if we view pet source here, you will scroll down on the button and this is by default that it's at a JavaScript as long as we um, switch from grid to slider layout on the customizer Ilio that it add um, JavaScript that it can uh, play previous and next post uh, after you clicking the next and previous button. And this one that I in the demo side on the result, if we a uh, few page source on the button, it's adding ad additional JavaScript, which is I call auto sliding uh, .js file. So let's get started. Now, uh, the first step is, of course, you can access your files through uh, cPanel, like what I'm doing now, or uh, much easier, you use um, FTP client, like FileZilla or something else that you have and you prefer. So next step is we go to file manager and you see that the, in this file manager you might have a lot of domains uh, in your blog but now I have only this domain so I'm just going to document root for in this uh, domain. So going to click go. So now as you can see this is the WordPress files that I got when I install and download uh, WordPress. So the next step is we go to wb-content and then themes and then our 2014 child theme. If you don't have 2014 child theme, I really recommend that you create one. So in this case, I've already created mine. So going to uh, double click that 2014 child theme. So inside this 2014 child theme folder, you might have different stuff than what I do now. But the most important is that if you want to implement these auto sliding options in your 2014 child theme, you need to 
uh, add the JavaScript and the uh, and queuing script to your functions.php and as you notice I don't have them at the moment so the next step is of course we need to create new folder so clicking on this new folder button or if you use uh, FTP you just click on new folder and here I'm going to name it as GS as JavaScript so any JavaScript that I will add will uh, go to this folder and then create new folder inside this GS so select it or double click it and here is still empty we need to create our new file which is called auto sliding .gs. we can also name it as our uh, unique uh, script just because to be sure that there is no other uh, um, auto sliding .gs in the parent theme of 2014 because it will not work. So we will name our autosliding.js as my autosliding.js. I think there is no any other file called this file in 2014 parent theme. And then we're going to hit create new file. So to edit this uh, new file, we're going to select it and then go to code editor button and edit it. Now first step is going to um, font size and here we're going to uh, click on JavaScript as the code um, syntax. So inside this myautosliding.js we're going to uh, paste the code which is um, copying the code that I've just uh, provided. So this is actually JavaScript uh, file and this script will basically tell the browser if the document is ready our page is ready, it will create this variable and this uh, most important for you is this variable sliding period. I set it to 7000 for 7 milliseconds because JavaScript counts seconds in milliseconds as 7000. And if you want to um, have the auto sliding interval for uh, 4 seconds, for example, you just need to um, replace the 7 to f uh, 4, but for now I'm just leaving it as 7000. And telling uh, the browser as well if user hovering their mouse to the uh, featured content post thumbnail image, it will stop the uh, auto sliding functions. And and if the if we don't hover it, so if the mouse out, if your uh, cursor is somewhere else except of in this image, it will trigger the auto playing of um, our slider. So we're going to just click on save changes for this JavaScript file to save it and go back to our um, last open directory in our 2014 chart theme, go to up one level and as you can see in the same level in our GS file we're going to add functions.php inside this 2014 chart theme folder. So click on this button again to create new file and we name it functions.php and then create new file and select it, go to editor again, I'm going to disable this checked. So here you're going to see this empty file but as I mentioned earlier yours might look different and yours might have already functions.php so yours will look like this PHP code block, uh, code block, and then you will have many codes, for example. And you just need to uh, add the following code beneath this block of code. So, because my functions.php is still empty, you need to add this PHP block code to um, open and closing PHP code. So, the next step is we're going to comment it what this code for. So, this code. This following code is for autoplay our slider 2014 child thing and then going to add the functions.php to end queuing the script so this is the comment that next time when you open this functions.php you'll know what this following code is for 
so this function, so we create our new function which is called my and then underscore auto sliding underscore tf underscore child if the page is not admin and if the page is only from page we want to enqueue the script which is called my underscore auto sliding uh, which has the path inside this 2014 child theme which is inside this folder gs and name auto sliding .gs. If you remember we call our gs file as my auto sliding .gs. So we need to uh, change this file name accordingly my auto sliding .gs. Okay? And then through which is uh, saying that we want to enqueue this script in our footer. So if we are not in admin page and if we only in front page we will add this JavaScript. So if we go back to our result and go to our home page and this is auto sliding uh, functions working so if we view page source we scroll down in the footer we will load this auto sliding script in this page but now say if we want to go to uh, post 9 because this is not front page if we look for few page source and this script will not be added in our footer why we do this because we want to uh, we don't want to slow down our uh, site that that it the browser will uh, need more resources that we should uh, need so whenever your visitors visit your site the browser, the browser will load your uh, site scripts and that's why we disable this script in post page and it admin page because we don't need that auto sliding in those pages so that's the basically the this code is telling our browser and now we're going to hit save changes and close this editor and go back to our demo site as you can see now it's still uh, static so reloads the page again and we will see if that auto sliding works so wait for seven seconds and now it's not um, loaded so we going to view pet source again to see if that script is enqueuing on the footer and it is not so we look again in our file uh, directory and look where the problem is so functions.php go to editor again and look what might wrong here and looks like we didn't save the file okay so we go back to our functions.php again and save changes to save the file and go back to our site again and reload it And sure enough, after seven seconds, it will play auto sliding uh, functions. And now, if we hover it on the thumbnail image, it will stop auto sliding as long as we uh, put our mouse on the image. But if we now go to other place, it will start to play auto sliding again. So now, if we uh, click on view pet source, right click your browser and click on view pet source button you see that this JavaScript is now added to our footer because we are on our home page and if we click on other page or admin page it will not load that uh, additional JavaScript that we just added so that's it guys for today and I hope it will be um, helpful for you take care of yourself and see you in the next video goodbye